Okay, how you going? Here we are today. We're going to be doing up a uh, one and a half inch piston pump. This is a metric one, as can be seen by the M just over there. So let's go across and uh, let's start the work. Uh, this is just a basic overhaul. So um, this isn't a major one where everything gets stripped down. This is where your working parts on the wet end get re redone. So if this doesn't come off easily, just whack the bolt back in there through the end and whack and that'll pull it off. Okay, she's off. Right, with these fellas, these are your rubbers. Okay, that rubber, I've already had this apart a while ago, but uh, we need to give it a service. Now you see that groove in there? That's essential. You cut a groove in on each side. By putting that groove in there, that stops vacuum. Okay, let's get that other one out. I may or may not have put a groove in this one already. We sort of got distracted in the filming earlier on, and we've had to start again, so. Okay, here we go. So, okay, that one doesn't have the groove in yet. So what you do is you put the groove in. The later models of these pumps actually had a groove already put into the, into the uh, brass seat. Uh, however, these ones, this particular model didn't come, up, come with it. So we just put a groove in the rubber and that stops vacuum lock. Important. Do it. You'll soon see your pump will run a lot smoother and everything like that. Okay, so here we go. This is your uh, the business end here. Now a lot of people, when they're going to try and take these pumps apart, they're going to sit try and take this whole head off just to get to the buckets. No, 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 no. I repeat, don't do it. Okay, so the way you get to it is you run your bucket forward. These are your buckets in here. As you can see, see that's in, that's out. Run it as far out as you can. And then get something onto the shaft over here. Nice and tight. Long nose vice grips work very well. And you start loosening that off. Okay. That's now loose. I'll now be able to unscrew it out of this side. Yep. So we just get a uh, extension on there. And there's probably going to be... Okay, so now the whole shaft and everything is twisting off. If it starts coming off another way, tighten it back up and get your buckets back tight and then uh, use that method again just to loosen it all off. Sometimes they can be pretty tight, it takes a bit to get them off. Okay, so that's now off that end. Once I've got that off, I'll put this back on over here. And give it a twist. Now sometimes they won't come out easy. If it doesn't come out easy, get something in there like a, a lever and lever it out. Sometimes you have to take the packing out of the gland there just to get this out. Other times it'll just come out easy. This one's been serviced recently. So it's good. What happened with this one is it had new buckets in it. And the washer between the buckets was either non-existent when somebody serviced it or it's broken and there'll be bits and pieces of it in inside the pump and so what that causes just causes a scissor action on the outside here because it doesn't have a larger one in between to uh, to stop that occurring so we get that out take the old buckets off Okay, it's also a good time to check for wear on the shaft. This one's got a fair bit of wear over there. We're not going to be too worried about it. This is more just for edumacational purposes. That, uh, but that could really do with a new shaft as well. But I'll put that in later on. This is just while the clock's ticking, let's get this done. So these ones here, they've got the step and the washer. So they'll take the bucket with the large hole cut out of the center, which I have some here. A lot of them won't, they'll have the small hole in the center, some will have a cartridge end. These ones here, nice and easy. That just pushes into there. You can see that little part goes in there. We'll do the same on that one. Okay, and then we're ready to go back on. So we've got that. Always the middle one, important. Without the middle one, brand new 
leather cups will be breaking in no time at all. This one's a little bit tight, just homemade because you can't buy them new anymore. So, um,